Service crews still working in a southeast Austin neighborhood four days after a natural gas buildup caused a house there to explode. Tonight, we're learning more about the victims burned inside and hearing from a neighbor who helped pull them out. KXAN's Tom Miller went to the home on Bedridge Trail, where the house is a total loss. Tom. It's hard to believe that anyone would survive this, but I'm told the man and woman inside the home at the time of the blast are recovering in hospitals tonight. This as construction crews remain out here and now a state investigation is underway. All this as neighbors wonder just how safe they are. New drone video shows the scope of the destruction. A tangled mess of debris scattered across the lot, road, and into neighbors' homes and cars following the natural gas explosion Saturday. <laughs> Days later, Texas gas crews continue to work on the line, shutting down roads and digging up yards as part of their investigation into what happened. So this was right across the street? Yes, this was right here. Diamond Perez lives across the street, the explosion causing part of his ceiling to collapse. It's amazing how they're, they're still okay. This video taken by a neighbor shows the two victims sitting on the curb immediately after the explosion. KXAN has learned their identities through public record searches and talking with neighbors. Local hospitals report the man in his 50s is in serious condition, while the woman in her 40s is critical. Adrian Vargas helped pull the man out of the debris and says both victims were badly burned. In, this moment, pues, in that moment, you just react to what you see and you try to help. You never know when I could be in that situation. In a statement to KXAN, the Texas Railroad Commission says it's investigating to determine compliance with Railroad Commission pipeline safety rules. Not really safe. I don't know what can be done to fix it or to assure us that you know, everything's going to be okay. It won't happen. Now, what we still don't know and what these investigators are working to determine is what specifically caused this natural gas buildup. The gas in this neighborhood is shut off as they look into it. Back to you. Tom, thank you. Something similar happened in January of 2012. A man in central Austin died when his home exploded. Emergency workers say the cause was a natural gas leak. The Texas Gas Service confirmed it knew about the leak before 43-year-old Renald Ferravicio died. People in the neighborhood say the victim complained about the gas leak and that others had smelled gas in the air for weeks. Broken, old, outdated iron pipe was at that house. The victim's family sued. We talked to the lawyer who handled the case tonight, and he says the matter has since been resolved. The case was not long after the federal government called for a complete state-by-state -state survey of iron pipes installed around the country. At the end of last year, the DOT found approximately 97% of all natural gas pipelines in the nation were made of either plastic or steel. The remaining 3% is mostly cast iron or wrought iron pipes. Due to age, the ground shifting, and the natural process as iron pipes degrade, those pipes are at a higher risk of failure than steel or plastic piping.